must. We must start. Okay. I believe in a thing called love. Just as the rhythm of the heart. If a chance we can make it now. But I believe in a thing called love. That was good. Welcome to Respectfully Podcast. I'm Andrea Allen. I'm Lizzie Cassidy. And joining us today, comedian and friend in real life, Emil Joaquin. Hi, guys. Hit the clap. Where's the clap at? Oh. It's really long. Yes. It's really long. First Thank you guys so much. Returning wow. guests. They're really no way. Yeah, first returning guests. Wow, I'm honored. Yep. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Well, you did great. You did great. Actually, you passed. Last, last time we had a meal on, we did a what not to wear segment for like men's fashion. And yes. you know what? Now that you brought that up, do you think Mike's buttons are too unbuttoned? Yeah. Mike's shirt is J Lo level open right now. Uh, Do you think it's cool? Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's slotting it up in every respect. Yeah, yeah, that's what we said. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's one more than I would say that's slutty. And like this, it's extra. It's yeah, one more yeah, even yeah, than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like a Versace model. <laughs> yeah. With, with he's chest like hair. fully on a beach right are you, now. Are you, are you walking down the street like this? Oh, yeah. I, this, is, this is how I left it. Dude, when, chest hair's in right it's now. It's crazy. boy summer. When yeah. Mike walks around in the street in his head, he just hears like, do you know, do you know, do you know, do you know, Mike's got his shirt on, and he's yeah. like, you can't tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. man. His collar is going to get talk. bigger each episode. Yes. <laughs> Slowly. There's just every time a bitch is in Mike's DMs trying to get nudes from him, he, he just becomes a more and more powerful. <laughs> so wait, Mike's dating. Mike, you're single. You're dating. Oh, big time. Big time, dude. Yeah. yeah. You gotta, throw, gotta throw that chest hair out it's there. Chest it's chest hair summer. It's it big is. time, big time yeah. for the boys. Yeah, yeah. You guys are just gonna be on field, just being pigs. It's the I'm first time. It's, it's the first you. time it's popular now. Yeah. yeah. You know? I'm excited for all the boys. It's fun. Yeah. Um, all the boys are having a slutty little summer. Dude, Harry, it's Harry Boy Summer. Yeah, it is it Harry is Boy Summer. It's a Harry Boy Summer, yeah. and I'm it's Harry right Boy now. Summer, free yeah. Palestine. <laughs> <laughs> free, free the You're chest hair. You're absolutely right. Those are connected. Yeah. They must You're be. You're a thousand percent they right. That's, how, that's how we got it. Cool tattoo girls are like, oh my I, I God. must fuck yeah. a Harry Boy. Free yeah. Palestine, Harry, Harry Boy, Boy Summer. Summer. Just, just Amen, wearing sister. a kafia as a loincloth on the beach and your chest hair fucking out. I yeah, love we're to doing see it. it. Dude, we yeah. deserve this. We needed this. Yeah, it's yeah. Run. It's been a hard time for men. So yeah. I'm really happy you guys get a little, little bit of freedom to be yourselves. Um, should um, we... Wait, before we do anything else, Ronnie and I were talking about this before the show. Do you know about Fully Conscious Baby? No. Okay, it's great. Yeah, me neither. This is, this is like one person. <laughs> yes, yeah. one this baby. Is, this is an, an individual. Okay. It sounds like say. it's an institution Look at this based fucking on fucking baby. I have a question for everybody. Shit. Who wants to go to the Four Seasons Orlando? <laughs> me. <laughs> okay, that's the whole thing. Wait, that's fully conscious? Yeah. He puts one finger up and says, "Me, he's an infant." I forget that that infant is like. Dude, this baby waited for her to say Orlando. Like this baby knows a what the Four Seasons Orlando is. Play. B what Orlando is. C what a question is. Most babies don't know what a question is. I'm not buying it. They just go. This baby goes. Me, I think his old because he had an older sister. <laughs> yeah, I think he's getting he's getting he's doing, He's being a pair. He's Nothing parroting. Nothing makes yeah. me laugh harder than this fucking. Like, See, and this is where baby. where our me. our two paths are not together. I this does nothing for me. Ronnie, can you help me figure out why this makes me laugh so hard? Because it's like it's you. you that's something I've never seen before. I've never seen it. I'm I've never seen a baby correctly answer a question before. There's like a lot of well-spoken babies on TikTok. Oh, like really? A lot of videos of like babies kind of just saying like funny things. Yeah. Maybe not that young, but yeah. me. me. It's not even like wear clothes age. <laughs> it's just wearing a diaper and nothing else. And it wants to go to the Four, four seasons. seasons Orlando. He has business. I mean, who doesn't want to go to the Four Seasons Orlando? It to be it fair. Can't not yeah. shit its pants, but it's like God, the poolside cabana and the four seasons. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like it. If you haven't experienced it, you have to. It just, it's like, it just really gets me going. I, you're so happy right now. I, I love thinking of you watching this. Your Lizzie's crying on the podcast again. If it's not a sheep or a baby that's fully forming <laughs> sentences, she's not interested. It's either the most like horrendous video or it's that. Yeah, like, for yeah. sure. For sure. It's, I don't even like babies like that. Let me see it one more time. <laughs> Me. It looks like AI almost. Yeah, it does. It's a deep fake. Dude, that's a deep fake. Yeah. Look at his face. <laughs> yeah. Look 
at that fucker's oh my face. God, yeah. can you imagine if we found out fully No, I would be heartbroken. Teeth. Yeah, <laughs> we need a fucking fact check on that. I know. Uh, right, fact check. I'm gonna report it for false information. I'm obsessed with this baby. <laughs> we gotta track it down. <laughs> ask its parents. I'm happy for you. It does. It doesn't move the needle, not even an inch for me. Oh, it makes Dude, me I laugh bet so that's like hard. that's gonna be me. its career now. Yeah, for sure. Somebody's gonna, be, gonna like, be fully conscious baby for Halloween. Yeah, a man is gonna put a diaper on and walk around going me. Chest hair out. Yeah. And you're going to go, God, you're going to be the only one that goes, yeah. fully conscious baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. FCB. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, that baby's going to grow up to be an insufferable adult. Just an also. insufferable prick. You're yeah. already being like, hey, the four seasons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This baby's no, it's over for him shit. for sure. But right now he's pretty chill. That is going to be weird because there's that's a, there's a new generation of kids that are going to grow up and be like, I was I was that kid. I was, yeah. yeah. I, I was, was peanut butter baby. Yeah. I remember peanut butter Yodel baby? Lady, Yodel no. Boy or whatever. You don't remember peanut butter? No, I remember what is this peanut baby butter baby. That you're mainly yeah. like weird baby. They're surfing no, a baby. Also. We have yeah. the same <laughs> for you, babe. Yeah. It is there is for sure pedophiles watching fully conscious baby. That sucks, but and they're going, oh, he's fully conscious. Yeah. Yuck. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of not what Gross. I'm here for. So I hate that. Baby yeah, it sounds like the hackiest way to be like, how are we going to get famous? Let's put the baby <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're trying to combine so many different yeah. versions of like a video that yeah. you see. Let's try different yeah. kitchen we'll items. hydraulic press the baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's covered oh in peanut God. butter. <laughs> hydraulic press the baby is huge. Yeah, that's going to be, I that's going to do numbers. I yeah. love hydraulic press videos. Oh my God. <laughs> Yikes. No, thank you. Pass on that. Stitch it no, next you'll to like, a, I'll a send you hydraulic video. press. You like it. All right. We'll I don't see. like the horse hoof. I love the horse What's the horse Hoof. Oh, Guy dude. scraping horse hoof. Oh yeah, I like that. Pimple yeah. popping. Hate. Yeah. Hate. Hate. hate, hate interesting. Hate. I hate pimples. I hate popping my own pimples. In I hate the hair. stuff. I hate the stuff uh, that's in it. The pus. Oh. Yeah, I pus. love the pus. Oh, I, mean, I like, like getting it out. The pus. I love yeah. the pus. Oh my god. My boyfriend does mine for me. Wow, that's, that's, he likes that's, it. that's crazy. Yeah. You, you don't do it back though. No. Whoa. It makes Whoa. me like it disgusts. It makes me gag. Interesting. Yeah, I'll never do it. Back. I think. I mean, obviously, I don't like. See, like, I like being like that's not in me anymore. If though. he has like a I pimple, love, I'll so do my own. About I'll that. do my own. Oh, I'll do my own. But other people, if he has like a pimple, and I can see, I can see that. I'll, I'll be like, you have to go take care of. That. Just you must him. address that. <laughs> Lizzie is famously kind of mean to her boyfriend, <laughs> yeah. and we do love it. No, yeah. I mean he's. If there's like a little, pu you must address the pun. No, it's before honest. You like, yeah, fair enough. Before yeah. you like bring it over to me, like don't, don't bring, bring that, that over, to my shit over to me. <laughs> if he like had one on his back, he couldn't reach. I would like out of love do it, but I would be dry heaving the whole time. Yeah. You and it just that's just what it is, and I can't help it. Being out of a relationship right now, I actually have no idea how my back is looking. Oh, which is kind of I'm gonna yeah. Yeah. No, it's Do you okay. want us to look on the yeah. bottom? I've had, I'm like, I haven't had a pimple on my back in like months. I'm <laughs> like, oh, just, no one back telling since you? the person yeah. that loves me was like, hey, let me get that for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah let's I have look. just random long black hairs or whatever. Are you? Yeah. How are you feeling post uh chest hair summer? How are you adjusting into being a oh, powerful he's adjusting. sex positive <laughs> Feeling man. good. Feeling sad though sometimes too, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Just randomly. I got a little sad earlier today walking around. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Please make me bring up something like really sad yeah. later and then just do that. Get like really serious for something second. about your childhood. Yeah. yeah you know, it's just hard when someone loves you, you know, and then you lose them. And... <laughs> it's just, it's not that I miss the person, it's that I miss the intimacy of yeah. being loved. God, these are sick. Yeah. Does it yeah. give you little keys of what's on there? Yeah. 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 You thought, was, yeah. you thought it was a rabbit? Yeah. 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 It's Winnie the Pooh. It's Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. yeah. Well, congrats on being haunted by loneliness <laughs> and also slinging dick. That's a good, that's a New York City place to be. Yeah, dude. We're I living think. on the extremes. Yeah. yeah. That's that's kind of how I mean, every slut is. Do you mind if I say, on? I mean, Amila's clean, absolutely cleaning up. I mean. <laughs> Thanks, dog. He's having a really slutty summer. Dude. In, a, in like a healthy and good way, but he shows me pictures of these women. They're so beautiful. It's, dude, the other night we were at a comedy club, you and Respect. your friend, I mean, Slay, you and your friend both brought up pictures per our request of the women that you were sleeping with. And I, it was like, like astonishing. It was like, I like, Wait, who I, were we? Oh, it was me and Mallory? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were like <laughs> Bella Hadid level Shout hot. Out and I was like, I just got to go for a walk around the block. And not that you don't deserve these bitches, but No, like, you do, but it's just like, I forget that women can look like that. I know. And then like my male friends will show me. I was like, women are attracted to comedy and men aren't. Right. So like girl right. comedians aren't fucking like these dudes. No. Like the dude equivalent. No. And then like you guys show us pictures and I'm like, 
Oh, oh my god, dude, women are hot. Women are sick, dude. Women, yeah. you guys, yeah, you that's guys like a girl's are... full time job is Pilates and hair extensions. Oh and my she's god, like beautiful, totally. Just on a beach with her tits half out. I'm yeah. like, God bless. Yeah. Oh, also, by the way, countdown to me having big cans. Yeah, it's let's throw this out there. A few weeks and uh, those oh, implants are going. It? I'm going oh in, God, baby. Oh my God, congrats. I know, it's really exciting. Whoa. You're going to be having your hot girl summer and I'm going to have my big can summer. And how, yeah. how big are you going? D's. Big D. Do you have to do like skin stuff or something? Like, how does it work? Where does the skin you come from? You have to from? put salves. D- what is that? Yeah. I, oh my Bombs. God. I'm Bombs. ordering oh, so many tight. vitamins. Well, this is what they're doing. Are you guys ready for something gross? Well, I already know this. Yeah. Okay. Get ready for this. So, yeah. th- so the search, shout out to Dr. Kolker. What a professional this guy <laughs> is. We love him. He's like, the boob guy in New York. It's incredibly expensive, but he is the fucking shit. So he comes in and he measures. First of all, he puts the implants on the table and like has my boyfriend feel them up in front Which of me. Which is gross. And he's right. like, what do you think of these? And I'm like, you pigs. I love this. Yeah. How do you keep it like a feminist? Like this is for me while also you're like, give us a little nod to the boyfriend. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what it was. It you're was like, like, this is for me, but also please pick yeah, the ones that you like. Please do a little testing of all the different ones. Um, It'd be but, funny if it was just in if it was women, it wasn't like just the boob on the table. Yeah, oh, just like <laughs> it was just past patients. Yeah. There's like a lineup. <laughs> he makes his nurses come in who all have fake tits and like my boyfriend Touch like them. motor boats each time. He one. touches all of them. The doctor goes, Now none of these women have had surgery done. These are all natural. <laughs> <laughs> these are just hot bitches I keep on retainer. Um but they uh I think I'm gonna have to take that thing away from you at a certain point. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can Do it I again? can I get this lined yeah. up? <laughs> that's the clip we got the clip and the pod um, but he like he measures all of your stuff and he was like your nipples the distance between your nipples and the bottom of your boobs is too short for me to just like put shit right directly in there <laughs> Yeah. so he has he said to it just like that. T- he's like I'm gonna throw a bunch of shit in there and there's not enough room so he used to take my nipples off and like <gasps> move them up. So there's going to be a point in time in New York what City where I'm where unconscious nipples and my table. nipples are on a table. Oh my God. And there's just going to be some guy and that's pumping just what's and dumping. And like ACDC is going to be playing. Like, <laughs> yeah. <in the> room. <laughs> He's going to be putting them on his face. Now do you have... Are he there? puts them over his yeah. eyes. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a nipple see. monster. I can't he see. puts them on your eyes like they're yeah. cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> they make fun of you. What a loser. They're just like... <laughs> their fucking nipples on her face. <laughs> they, t- they take a t- TikTok. <laughs> it's just Instagram of me with my own nipples. That's why it's so cheap is they get to make content on the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. That's what you didn't know you signed up for. That's uh, okay. I'll do anything for big cans. Is there stuff behind your nipples that's like connecting it? Like do you have to I move wiring around? So, yeah. Yeah, that comes off or no? I mean, what are we going to breastfeed? Exactly. Like yeah. yeah can you, that's a thing, right? You can't breastfeed after you have your Yeah, which on. is a problem because I like to breastfeed my boyfriend, but <laughs> yeah. it is a right. sacrifice that is worth having. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I have a nipple piercing and they were like, so you're probably not going to have a kid, this isn't right? A <laughs> this isn't a mother in the near future. Yeah, you're like a whore, right? And I'm like, I am. And he's like, we're going to take your nipples right off. <laughs> we're not even going to put them back on. Yeah, <laughs> let's just have like diamonds, put diamonds on. Maybe yeah. I'll get... Maybe I'll get bejeweled nipples. Yeah, get a get a fun stone. A bedazzled <laughs> emerald nipple. Get nipples. a rare stone. Yeah. Dude, that's so crazy just taking your nipples off. Right. Yeah. Just taking them clean off Fuck. and then filling filling me up like a gas tank. I'm so excited. Like a gas <laughs> tank. <laughs> are you are you guys gonna be able to I mean, I guess Oh, this is a question for like. Men were you going to pl- ask if we're going to be able to look at you? Yeah, yeah. we're going to be able to respect no. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, platonic, platonic male friends. I am like interested I can't to see. Hang out with well, I yeah. have yeah. huge tits. Yeah. So what is and it? And I have platonic male friends, and sometimes do you catch them noticing in a glance? Well, sometimes they'll. I mean, my friends are like actually. I'm not implying the aren't, but like my friends are actually my friends, so they'll just say it. That's what I'm saying. Like my yeah. friends will just come up to me and be like, "Your tits look awesome." One of my best friends came up to me the other day and was like, just so you know, your tits are doing exactly what you want them to do. That's beautiful. And I was like, thank you. Yeah, that's a huge note. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So I'm hoping that my male friends are, you know. Well, some... my friends have like great cleavage. I'm like, good for you, dude. Rock. Like, that's yeah. sick. Okay. I'm pumped for you guys. I'm excited. Yeah. I'll yeah. probably run into you in Prospect Park and I'll be wearing like a leather bodice <laughs> and my tits will just be like up to my chin. And yeah. You'll do you be think like, you're just going to be a what? new person? Yeah. Are you just going to totally. Oh my God. You have to buy new clothes. Yes, I do. The main character energy that I currently already have yeah. is going to be. 
to you. leveled up to a disgust. I'm going to be a disgusting pig for like three months and then I'll come down to earth. But like, I'm about to really be a problem for sure. Dude, this is so fun for it's you. Exci- I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah. I can't even think of an equivalent. It's like, I guess it's like a getting penis like, a, like a surgery. huge dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. But even if you get like a huge dick, it's like all fake and And you weird. can't like yeah, show yeah. people. Yeah, it's, it's not as cool. I think I'm actually going to get dicks on my nipples as well. There you so go. Yeah, just get two huge dicks. Two huge dicks. dicks <laughs> huge nipples. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> get to machine gun noise. I'll be this like the Austin awesome... machine gun noise. God damn you get a hair transplant too, Anna? <laughs> yeah, you get a huge the hair. With a tuck of pubes. Yeah. <laughs> you just want to flex your money in plastic surgery. Right? Yeah, right. I'm just absolutely disfiguring myself. <laughs> That's fine. It's going to be, be fun. fun. Yeah. It'll be fun, dude. I think I will do a TikTok where it's like before I'm going to like, get ready with me to get breast implants and then yeah. get my boyfriend to film me coming out of an anesthesia being like, hey, fucking tits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm always afraid though that I'm gonna admit like my truest, deepest secret. Yes. Under anesthesia. Yeah. yeah. You've never been. I no, I have been. But I've always woken up like alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. And, like with like a nurse who can't repeat anything. Yeah. But like if I woke up and like my boyfriend was there, can you imagine? I woke up and I was like, I don't like your back. I don't know, whatever. Totally see some crazy. And I was like, this is like not my deepest secret because why would I sit on the podcast? But I wake up and I'm like, I wet the bed until I was 17. Like, can you imagine? Or if that's you're like, that's like horrible. I, I didn't, know, I, didn't, I know that I you love me more, or I love you more than you love me. You're like one of those oh. like deep, deep ones that you're not supposed the to say. The stuff you don't say out loud. Yeah. Well, well. Well, maybe you'll see, you'll hear me say some weird shit in yeah. my TikTok video. Yeah, you cross that road when you get there. You know? Yeah, exactly. If it comes out, it's meant to come out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what it is. That's, That's, it is what it go, is. Be, go be with God. Yeah. I'll just be a <laughs> meme written. on the internet. Yeah. So And so it was written and so it is. <laughs> yeah. Lizzie, you, you ruined your whole life. You, told, you <laughs> lost all your friends. No, it was written. Uh, it was, no, it's, it was written. it's what it is. The he, prophecy was fulfilled. He was meant He was meant for it, you know? Um. So we should move on to yeah. the Nails Respectfully segment because I am dying to yeah, know. Yeah, you told us you were locked and loaded. Your hot take, Emil, take the floor. Guys. Yes. If you run a half marathon oh, and you celebrate it, <laughs> I fucking hate you so much. I mean, like, how boring I, must your life be? It is fucking, dude, we're shutting the city down for half marathons. Yes, yes. It's crazy. It's half. They don't it's even half. rename it. Yeah. It's still called a, it's a half thing. Yeah. And people were, dude, I was in the park the other day. They shut down the whole park. There was like literally probably 20,000 people, more people than I've ever seen in my life. Yes. People are crying. People are holding signs. I know. Parents flew in. Yes. I'm Disgusting. like, this is not an achievement. You went for yeah. a run. You went yeah. for a run. I also think, unfortunately, <laughs> it's mostly white people. So it yeah. is like of white course. people struggle and like that's how you know it's bullshit because yeah. there's no African winning it. No, 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 no one's sponsored no. to like win the half marathon. It's no. also like it's like when white people like construct struggle in their lives. Yes, yes so totally. it's like people who don't have any adversity, so they're like, I guess I'll try really hard to run this far. I'm gonna yeah. run till I shit my pants. Well, I feel a little bad because I'm like, I know it is like people with like day jobs that are like, this is just like a hobby yeah. thing. But I'm like, just do a full and do run a drugs half, or something. Do yeah. anything. Yeah. Run a half privately. Yeah. And then do a full, I don't know. It's just so silly to like have a medal and everything. I'm like, this is nothing. You did it's absolutely nothing. nothing. The oh. se- like the fact that you can't go to brunch like four Sundays a year in New York because yeah. everybody is like wrapped in tinfoil. Dude, the yes. tinfoil blankets. It's oh just my like God. grow up. Like I they came can. back from like the war torn tinfoil blankets. <laughs> and yeah. everybody's acting like you're like brave because you did a thing you love for two hours. My brother in law just ran a half marathon and they and they put and it in the cares? family group chat and I literally just went, ha 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 like I because <laughs> <laughs> I think he knows because I've like shit. Did on you him. did you write back run a full one post? <laughs> I literally was like, dude, this is so dumb this that is you're nothing. why are you even telling me about this? Yeah. Like, it bothers me that you even brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're related. Yeah, it's so crazy. It's gross. Like, you're cool. What are you doing? Yeah. yeah. Oh, is he cool and he's doing They're this? They're so cool. Yeah, him and, him and my sister are like dope. Interesting. It's yeah. just like, it's you're just running. It's just a weekend. It's just a fun weekend thing. Okay, I will say this because you guys are both in your 20s. Half marathon people are often in their 30s and 40s. So it's more of an achievement. And it's like our bodies, if we don't start doing crazy fitness stuff, yeah. our bodies start to fall apart. No, and I'm not saying don't do it. Yes. I'm saying don't make it everybody's fucking 100%. problem. Don't shut down every street in right. Brooklyn 100%. for yeah. a whole day. There's you like know? a Black Lives Matter march and we're like, no, 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 it's, no, no. it's the day of the half. Dude, there's more security the for the half. Yeah, literally. 100%. And more roads blocked off. It was crazy. There's like yeah. cops and riot here. They're like, it's the half. Yeah. It's the half. It's <laughs> this is our national. If someone yeah. causes a problem at the half, they're getting shot right in the yeah. mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no one's bombing the half. <laughs> Let's bomb the half. 
have. If there was no one, one's bombing that. that. Yeah. I mean, the Boston. Marathon. That was the full. That was yeah, full. Was the full. You're right. You're right. Right. That was yeah. full. Gotta, the half. Yeah. Come We're not on. hating on the full. It's the half. It's the half we have a problem with. So the, you know the, I mean? the full. <laughs> So the full is okay. We're okay with the whole. The full, full is the full for sure. Yeah, yeah. The, the full is like, the thing. Yeah, that's the thing. Like what? you run to run a full. Also, the people that do the ones that are like swimming. That's the, also like, oh, barrel try. rolling. The try. The try. Sure, yeah, all, yeah. All, they can have a try. Yeah, yeah. have a try. But Give a it a try on its own. Yeah, is like it's like a fi- it's like a five k. Right? It doesn't. It shouldn't even be called. It should be called it like a It should be called marathon. It should yeah. be something K. So you're like, oh, that's like a thing you do like in the morning before yeah. Thanksgiving or some how shit. Fun yeah. would, how fun it's would a turkey it be? Trot. That's like a hot cocoa thing or whatever yeah. the fuck. <laughs> how fun would it be just to have Bullshit. an iced coffee and to be walking the half like amongst them? Right. Just like in my platforms with my fake tits being like, what's going on? Yeah. The thing about yeah. the half yeah. is we could walk the half. Yeah. Let's walk the I half. I think you could half. run a half without really training either. Yeah. I think you could Maybe. do it. I, I don't think I could do it. Not like run, run, but you could like for sure complete it. Yeah. I think we could walk the half. Let's walk the half. We'll walk the half. Yeah. I lost you guys on that take. So. Next yeah, year we're okay. walking the half. Yeah. <laughs> in these outfits, we'll I'm walk the half. I'm going to start power walking now to get in shape. <laughs> no, I mean, no, no training. No training. Just walking. Yeah. Just regular walk the half. I mean. And see what happens. You're also like touching on fitness people. Which, which is, is a an, they're big annoying. group of annoying people. But yeah. again, I'm in my 30s. It's There's a lot of fitness people. But there's a difference between doing it, it and like being that. Yeah. CrossFit is one Nobody of the ones cares if you do it. I mean, having yeah. a sticker that's 13.1 on your car is... Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. that's crazy. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, that's so it embarrassing. That's unbelievable. It's humiliating. It should just be the marathon sticker ripped in half. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you did the half. Yeah. You did a half it. You don't even get a full sticker. Do yeah. I, even, I even reprint new ones? Yeah. Yeah. I know, a, I know a marathon runner that has, like, medals on her wall, like, in her fully grown apartment, and I'm like... Put him in a drawer, yeah. buddy. My cousin runs marathons and she's great because other people always have to bring it up. Yeah. Like That's she'll just cool, be like yeah. at a dinner party and someone will be like, you know, she runs marathons. She's like, ah, eh, whatever. Nice. That's yeah. so That's cool. That's like the only one that does That's that. That's like yeah. the coolest way to be that person. I secretly want to be like a martial arts guy, but no one knows yeah. about it. So like, I know, yeah, I'm I wanna... like a black belt and I just never tell anyone. I think about that all the time. If I could just like secretly whoop ass. That's, I know. That would be so fun. If I was like, like a... in like an MM, like, like twisted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just a quick, like you're done. Whoa. Like, Wouldn't some... that be so fun? That would be sick. Like someone yeah. shitty does in public and I just karate chop them right in the neck and they just pass <laughs> out and you're like, wait, what? And I'm like, it's, I just do it like I just on the do, Whatever, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I just yeah. like with your nails. Uh, yes, <laughs> I just do Brazilian jiu-jitsu and none of you know about it. Yeah, I'm sick with that. Be? It's like, have you seen Steven Seagal videos of him doing? Yes. <laughs> I want to be able to like take a gun. You know, when they like turn oh, it around. Yeah. I want to, and then I want to, I want to train to do that. And then I want to be put in a position where I have to. Yeah, yeah. and everyone's like. Whoa. You want to escalate a situation until that's, <laughs> yeah. that's a problem. Yeah. Dude, if I was secretly trained in martial arts, I'd be escalating every situation. Oh, me too. Every situation, I'd be like absolutely popping off at everybody. This thing about like karate masters or whatever. It's like the whole thing is like you'd like never use it. But yeah. I'm like, yeah. why? No, dude? I'd I use the, the self control to yeah. never use that. I would absolutely, use, I'd exploit it. Would you I'm do also this, already the, escalating. This like, yeah. No, yes. I would do the is this racist? And then, <laughs> you guys like that? <laughs> What is that? I had a Japanese. Guys, we're fully doing yeah, it. Yeah, we're now, fully right? doing it. We're doing the we're doing Chinese accents. No, but it's not because we're actually we are yeah. saying the words. Yeah, I had a Japanese oh. roommate in high school who would teach me dirty words and let me like eat her candy in exchange yeah. for cleaning our room. So eat her candy. Was it like always like crazy? Candy? Yeah, I love Korean I was like, this candy. This is milk, but it's shaped like a chicken. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, cor- yeah, the Korean milk candy is yeah. so good. Fuck, it's oh, so cool. good. Green tea Kit Kat. Yeah. You know oh, I love green tea. You know what she used to do also? Is she would like smoke cigarettes and like skip class and all that stuff and then when people like teachers would confront her about it she'd just be like I don't I not and she would yeah. tell me that she was like I would just pretend I don't know what they're saying Whoa. that's really dude slow. that's the thing yeah. I told you the other night I went and yeah. I got a massage I was like in the city all day and I like was like I just like needed to like take a nap before <laughs> yeah. a set. it was such a crazy day I was like I never did this but like I was like I just need someone to like lay down for a little bit and like sure. take a nap and I was like I can't like outside in the city like just Lay on a park bench. Yeah, I was like, yeah. What's, so then I was like, I'll just go get like a massage. Yeah. So I went to like this like Asian massage parlor thing. Mm-hmm. I was going to say Chinese, but I don't think that's, I don't know. If yeah, that's, who knows? Are they? We don't, I don't know. know. Who's to say? I'm not going to assume. Yeah. Anyway, we go and uh, <laughs> I go and I, d- I do it and then I, I come out and then I give her like 20 bucks. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, tip. yeah, I'm like, yeah. can you break this? And she goes like, thank you. And then she like, <laughs> I was like oh, oh, wait, no, sorry. Can you, can you give me like 10 back? And she was like, 10 back. And I was like. <laughs> 
yeah, 10, 10 back. And I was like, 10 back. <laughs> And I was like, half, like half. And she was like, and then she was like, oh, and then she did it. I was like, you don't, come on. You You're knew. You knew. She was you knew. trying to wear you down. You just yeah. wanted me to be yeah. like, keep it. Yeah, 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 totally. yeah. Which respect, girl, get, you know, get the bag. Get the bag. Which is 100% what I would do. Yeah, I would absolutely bag. be doing that all <laughs> fucking day if I had that on my <laughs> Guys, we've already done a lot of bad things so far. We got to keep it on the I'm rails. Already into <laughs> it. Yeah. So speaking of problematic, should we bring up Pearl or should we take a break? Yeah, let's take a break and then bring up Pearl. We'll bring up Pearl. We're gonna we're gonna balance. We're the gonna scales. take a break. We're gonna read a book about our whiteness. Yes. <laughs> and the, the ways in which we're problematic. Yes. We're gonna and come back better. We're, we're gonna, gonna clock come back our privilege. We're gonna come back educated and ready to listen and learn. And we be come better. back in full black. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll be right black. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Welcome back to the pod. The judgment is on, and I think we are a okay with all the Chinese stuff we just did. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> totally fine. We actually just talked to like the head of everything. They yeah. said there's this awesome stuff. I went to the Chinese yeah. ambassador and he said, let it rip, buddy. Yeah, they said that you're actually doing a great job. Over yeah, there. I'm stopping Asian hate. Um, but I am actually bringing I'm bringing some sort of hatred to the table right now. Not racially. Not racially, but uh, I'm going to be going after a lady. Um, are we familiar? Emil, are you familiar with Pearl? No. Okay, so, so Pearl is like uh, like one of these like pick me pick me untalented hot topic podcasters. Okay, and like she gets interviewed by like the news because she's like women belong in the home and. Every woman with women, she like says women shouldn't be able to vote. Yeah, no. oh, Pearl's sick. crazy. She's one of these girls. Yeah, yeah. Pearl is Old like pilgrim kind of shit. Yeah, and she kind of looks like a pilgrimy bitch. She's yeah, got like she's, red hair and she's like pale and. Is dumpy. she very like Christian? What's her vibe? Yeah. No, she's just like trad. Yeah, she's full. I don't know if she's trad? Pearl's traditional. traditional. Oh, yeah, Pearl cute. is. Pearl's dying to be someone's wife and like And just like nobody will have her. Yes. And so this is so a she's, Pearl clip. So she's I gotta see this lady. She's yeah. condemned to a life of talking into microphones because no one will make her their wife. Yeah, she what yeah, what a life. So Can you imagine? Yeah. Oh my god, I can't the three even. Of us. What an idiot. Yeah. Well, so Pearl, Lizzie sent me Pearl in the middle of the night, as we do. We send each other TikToks. Yeah. And I maybe had seen her once before, but I went on a Pearl fucking spiral because she's in Pearl is so infuriating and I hate that women and men pay attention to Pearl because she's the most toxic cunt ever. Um, but this is Pearl getting owned. I love the Pearl, like people getting owned from this sphere. Um, so this is a little bit of, of Pearl. Courage. It's your job to be attractive. I think husband. I guess you're unemployed then. Oh, Wait, can I see a longer Pearl video? I, I can pull up another Pearl video, but, um, Basically, Pearl is saying it's women's jobs to be attractive. And then this other woman stitches the video and goes, so then are you unemployed? Boom. Because Pearl's ugly. Per she's an ugly. yeah. And we we can say that because she's mean to women. This right? brings us to our, yes. so say our respectfully segment. Andrea, do you want to nutshell it for us? Sure. I think if you do the good person things and you are a nice, kind human being, that when you see one of these absolute troll nightmares, you get to say mean things about their looks yeah. you get to attack them in the most base vile way because we do the nice things yes and it's gonna hurt them the most us calling pearl busted is gonna do way more damage than us being like you're an enemy to women blah 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 yeah. blah. she doesn't care you gotta about, go low she you likes have that to she's go an low. enemy to she women she goes low you go low the left never goes low and you i'm have like to we be, gotta go low yeah, you, you gotta have go to like be Trump like you rose. simply do not have eyelashes yes. Yes. yeah 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 Let's see her. Now, now that I know I can say whatever I want, let me, yeah. get, let me get a look at this lady. Yeah, absolutely yeah. demolish her, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let's see if I can see Pearl. Um, that sounded like a good fake one. Fake name, you think? Pearl? I think real. It does fit the vibe. Yeah. Of like kind of old like Quaker lady. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see what this is. I'm assuming your stance is abortion should be off the table in any in situation. Show, right? Yes. So if a dad <laughs> his daughter, then she needs to give birth to that baby. You know, that's less than 1% of cases. Why do you guys all No, 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 no. Because if you're going to have a conversation about okay. difficult things, let's talk about the difficult things. I'm saying let's talk about the most common thing. That's first. easy. And that's we easy. Can, but I'm saying that's so not we what's can, difficult can, about this. But I'm, saying, but I'm saying we can get to the difficult things later, but it's like, why do you guys bring because up the most Because that's the interesting part. I'm telling case? you, the law is there to protect on right, those fringe I'm, cases. I'm, I understand. You say abortion's bad because we don't want to your babies. 
that's not controversial. That's easy to understand. The point right. of these laws is to protect the little girl who's mm -hmm. by her dad. These are the challenging issues because yeah. this is the byproduct Wild of clip. your position. Yeah, she's got really Wild greasy choice, hair, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> you think it's common? No, Just after it's not all common. that. I mean, okay, this after all that, we're still making point. fun of this like, lady's nose. Yeah. 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 She also is thing. refusing to answer the question. Yeah, well, all these people, I feel like, I don't know. Answer it, answer it. Yeah. For like a career or I think she's doing it because she wants men to like her. Because she's busted and men don't like her. She could get, like, if she, like, didn't do this, I feel like she's not the worst looking Well, the real, like, ever. trap of Pearl's teeth, life you know? is the only men who will ever be attracted to her are men who don't want women to talk, and yeah. she's built a career on talking, so she's just doomed. Yeah. But she's like, I'm talking so much dumb bullshit that it actually makes yeah. it seem like I'm bad, like I'm submissive. Yeah. But she's so dominating about just being like, women are dumb and useless. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that now these men aren't attracted to her, because she's like, popping off. It can't, kind of yeah. cancels out. Now she's just like a normal lady. Yeah. You know? These men don't want women who pop off. Like men's right podcaster woman Are is like, just kind of like a quiet. Yeah. Like it's like you're not even saying much. Yeah. Yeah. You shouldn't be a public figure by like men's right standards. Women should not be public figures defending men because they shouldn't be like talking. She looks like like I don't really know what Greta Gerwig looks like. But she looks like she would be named Greta <laughs> yeah, Gerwig. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, she Pearl, has, Pearl like... has no tits. Pearl's, you know, not in great shape. Um, Pearl is like white Candace Owens is what I would say. Yeah. Candace Owens is yeah. hotter Candace than Owens Pearl, but Pearl's a full blown fucking nightmare. And she just like she the thing that I don't ever get about the like defenders of men, the pick me defenders of men is they're trying to construct a world where they have less rights. Yeah. And I'm like, you're trying to create a nightmare where your life is objectively worse. I mean, I don't think they think that far into it. I think yeah. they just want men to like them. Yeah. Like, because Pearl is a white woman. She's never going to live in a world where she doesn't have rights. Yeah, true. Because Pearl is never going to need an abortion. Yeah. And that's like, because well, no one's going to fuck her busted ass you. pussy. God, you're going to come inside Pearl, yeah. please. Fucking ginger pubes. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> You're gross, Pearl. You're an unfuckable nightmare. You guys love an excuse to just head to rail on a lady. I love, I love seeing railing guys like on other that. ladies. Yeah. Well, yeah. because we've been told that we all are friends. Like the one of the things yeah. about feminism is that we're all supposed to support each other. So you get in the room with just like an annoying just bitch, just a rancid bitch, and yeah. then you just have to be like, well. You have to rise above. Yes. No, I bet it's a blast to just be like, we, we don't have to do this sisterhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck this cunt. You're, yeah, your pussy smells. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the craziest like, man stuff. Yeah, yeah. You're a busted bitch, Pearl. And also Pearl... But, go ahead. But yeah, like what I was saying is like Pearl actually is never going to be in danger of having her rights infringed upon. Right. Because she lives in this world where she's privileged and it's fine and she just wants boys to like her. What she's doing effectively is putting poor women and women of color in a position where their rights could be. A, yeah. But, I mean, she doesn't have any power, so she's not actually doing she it. She has cultural power, though. I don't think she does. You don't think so? I think this is all fucking bullshit. Like an echo chamber? I think there are, like, people who already agree with her liking her videos, and that's it. Like, I don't think... Like, look at us. Like, we're not watching this being like, maybe Pearl has a point. Yeah. Like... My mom. She's just a fucking moron who wants men to. to it's like a, a horse. It's in. like a horse hoof video. It's kind of just like a. a it's kind of just horse. Yeah, a horse hoof pimple video. popping yeah. video. Yeah. It's kind of the other kind of. It. It's like yeah. that in conversation. Yeah. yeah. My mom once sent me. This was. She was having a hard time post divorce. My mom was very lonely, and she sent me one of these. She sent a link to one of these books, and she was like, "This might be helpful," <laughs> and it was one of these like how to be appealing to men and get them to marry you books like don't be a bitch type books and I was like get a titch mm, up mom yeah I mean yeah, maybe, mom, maybe it slipped in a little bit god damn it dude my friend's roommate like left that book out when I went over to their apartment it's like if you're gonna have that book hide that book oh yeah you can't have imagine you bring a man home and you have the book on the table <laughs> that's mathematical like, how to get a like, husband yeah. yes I saw a comedian's apartment it's who Steve had that Harvey's in Harvey's Think Like a Man yes <laughs> yes oh God. Dude. What are these books like? What are they really? What are they? I don't. I haven't you? read that. It's I probably like they don't have sex with them. Yeah, yeah. Probably, it's probably yeah. Don't have, don't be a slut. Don't be too loud. Yeah. Oh. Keep yeah. a nice home. Keep your appearance up. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be fat. You simply cannot be fat. You simply they, cannot be fat. Yeah, don't, yeah. don't really exist too much. No. Don't take up too much space, both literally and figuratively. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be like a little mouse. Yeah. yeah. Be a little mouse lady. 
be a cute little mouse with huge tits. And go, who me? Hmm. They, love, what, they love when you go, who me? I don't think women I are having that hard I of a job. I got nothing to say. Or ha- having that hard of a time finding men that they're reading books about it. Um. Yeah. I mean, I think like there are more men now who are like marriage is a scam, and these oh, women are like they're like the brain, thing. They're yeah. like brains right, are fried by yeah. yeah 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 totally. And they're like in a situation ship, and all they want to do is be somebody's wife. So they're like going insane because that was like the goalpost set. Yeah, for their like I want to be married by X time. It's also so funny because I've never thought that way, and I'm gonna be married, and these hoes are out here yeah. like reading books about how to trick men, and I'm like, you actually just meet someone who views you as a person and you be yourself and that's it and that's really kind and of and that's it. the secret yeah <laughs> that's the book the secret yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the vision board my secret book is like be yourself it's like the gayest book yeah. ever but I love it because that is the truth and Pearl doesn't want people to like know that it's just yeah. simply has to be that and she's a busted yeah Pearl's whore. a dumb truck what are we gonna do yeah. about it <laughs> yeah fuck you Pearl we're glad she exists though for are our we? pleasure yeah for, our for us for our hate yeah you know? yeah that's true. Is there? Do you think there's a lefty woman that these conservatives, yeah, of course, view as their have, pearl? Lot, yeah. It's yeah. us, dude. It is us. They're gonna watch this it's and AOC. be like, "This yeah. fat bitch thinks she can call pearl a dump truck," and it's like, <laughs> "Yeah, I do." We're people's pearls. Yeah, a man picked me. I can yeah. say whatever I want about pearl. <laughs> oh, I love that. We're all somebody's pearl for sure. Yeah, yeah. everybody is somebody's pearl. Wow. <laughs> kind of beautiful. Kind of beautiful. <laughs> Unless, like, yeah, with a little oyster logo. Yeah. The bottom, yeah. A wooden so board. he thought you were an oyster. You're somebody's pearl. Right. You smell like an oyster, though. <laughs> hey. Hey. Fuck you, pearl. Fuck you, pearl. Yeah. This actually segues perfectly into our next respectfully segment. Let's do it. Which is uh, respectfully, if you're a woman who pretends to be dumb to get men to like you, you should be shot. Yes. <laughs> Firing squad. I hate you. I hate you. I hate I, you the more. The gals than are on fire today. <laughs> yeah. Well, because Pearl actually is dumb. Yeah. And so I'm like, she's dumb, and she got tricked into this belief system. Yeah. If there, you, I know women I know. who are like educated and powerful and smart. Yes. And then a like no, an averagely hot guy comes into the room, and they're like, "Wait, I don't get it." And what? it's like, I can't. There's something that makes me so angry about that, sure. and I think it's just like. Every th- it's like everything I've been fighting against my whole life to be like you don't have to pretend to be something you're not to get men to like you and it's just these women that I respect ruining all of it yeah they're just shitting all over all of it it's so fucking annoying it, well, yeah I wonder if it works like I wonder if well, I'm, you're a boy. I know yeah. I can't really I mean usually I would say no because I'm like I think I'm unattracted to that yeah but then I'm like I'm sure maybe they've been doing it maybe I haven't noticed but I don't know or like it works on other men I definitely have like. Been like, have you, have you seen this movie or whatever? And maybe been like, no. And then I've ca- I've caught myself getting like a little overly excited to like explain like the oh, plot of yeah, Interstellar yeah, yeah. or whatever the, the fuck. Oh, I'm doing like the most man thing ever, and I'm like, God damn that. it! All men want to do is explain things to us. And I I will catch myself sometimes being like, damn, I'm doing that thing. I'm being yeah. like this YouTube documentary, and I'm like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there is like a nice side of masculinity is like. And I think there can be masculine women or whatever, just as a generic is like taking care of others or like nurturing or whatever. Yeah. So I think there's like something connected to that. But that's not what these girls are looking for. Uh -uh. They're looking for a guy who's like, let me take care of you, dumb little baby and fuck the dumb little baby. Yeah. (laughs) And I hate that. Don't be the dumb little baby. Don't don't fuck the dumb little baby. Yeah. And I see women do it in stand up a lot where like their act is I'm dumb. Yes. And it's like, but you're not. I talk to you. Yeah. You're very smart. You I don't know. have to go on stage and be dumb. Wait, question though. Do you feel like in relationships though, you got you you do revert to a little more dependent? I don't go partner? dumb, but I do go baby. You go a little baby. I do they, go baby. They usually do. I, I do go baby. I don't go a little baby. Like I'm a big baby. Yeah. Big, big, baby. Yeah. big uh-huh. huge baby. I'm You're being big, big. carried around in a Bjorn around yeah. my apartment. You know, like the you trend. Forget like, to drink water. Oh, yeah. I do. Yeah. You guys love forgetting to drink I water. Know. To drink water. Yeah. I love when my boyfriend brings me water. I know you do. You yeah. guys all do. You know it. the like trend of like the passenger princess, like the girl who just sits in the passenger seat and yes. the boy all drives. my life I've been this girl. Dude, the New York City version is when I'm with my boyfriend and we're going somewhere on the train, my brain shuts off. Oh, it's so nice. I just though. hold his hand. <laughs> but like, so we're saying this you is, could take me anywhere. So this is acceptable in a relationship, but you're yes. saying it bothers you before when they're doing it to get the guy. Well, I think like there's a difference between pretending to be dumb and taking a break and from being smart. Being dumb. <laughs> yeah, like, you're right. All day, I have to, to be it. like all day I have to be smart yeah. and like have my wits about me and like not get raped and like <laughs> wow. not get oh, 
lost that's and I'm just like, point. my head is on a swivel all day and then he shows up and I get to be like, okay, we're taking a break. You're touching home base a little yes, bit. Yeah, yeah. When you're walking yeah. around with a man, you're like, thank God, I, oh my I'm God. safe. Yeah. Other people won't rape me because they respect you and you yeah. own me. And then thank we're God. like, I have to get her, I have to get her to the airport. <laughs> yeah. 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 Terminal oh my C. God. We're ter- yeah. This bitch doesn't even know Your where Terminal C is. Your joke about that is so funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I should, I should like, try to keep doing it. Yeah, I think yeah, I stopped yeah. those, like some crowds were like, yeah. No, it's so funny. Was it a little woman, a little woman bashy? It was basically just about like, yeah, I don't even know where said like, there are two genders. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's two genders, people who cry and people who get you to the airport on time. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nothing has been more true than that. Yeah. Literally, last time I had to go to the airport, I was staying at my boyfriend's house the night before. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to leave at 4 a.m. because my flight is at 6. Leave at 4 a.m. And he goes, no, you have to leave at 3. Yeah. Um, and I went, I fly all the time. You never fly. I, I'm leaving at 4. And he was like, okay, for me and my anxiety level, can you just leave at 3? So I left at 3 like I was doing him a favor. Rocked up to the gate as it was boarding. Yeah, he, he, was, yeah. he couldn't have been more right. That's just so funny. Absolutely walked directly onto the plane. Yeah, yeah. God, we oh, love don't that. You hate- Dude, we love hearing that. <laughs> I know you love- I know. That's unfortunately a win for the boys. Yeah, win Here's for the, the men. Yeah. I've been doing this my whole life. So if I left at 4, I would have made it happen. Yeah, you know what I yeah. mean? I would have ran through that airport. I would have made it happen. But because I left at three, I got to just like leisurely stroll up to the gate and get on the plane. So like he was right. Yeah. I'm just saying I could have done it. I mean, I'm one of these people, these by the wind guys as well. Yeah. I'm the cry all the time guy. What if we just become Pearl? All? This is how <laughs> yeah. you yeah. I'm slope. like, what this is the slippery slope? Pearl's such an idiot. Can you believe that? Anyway, <laughs> women get really cry and yappy when they start dating you. <laughs> well, and they don't know when to leave for the airport. Yeah. <laughs> they <laughs> but, don't even know how to get there. But I, <laughs> I get, get away there? with it. <laughs> Wait. Genuinely, how do you? How do you? Get- know, real quick. How do you? There's a shuttle. What does that mean? You are never taking Dude, the shuttle. How do you get never there? Never in it's- God's green earth would you take the shuttle. I, mean, it's just I like take the shuttle every time. No, I- but sometimes the air- the Uber to the airport is so expensive that sometimes I have to take the shuttle, and I'm like. What do you mean? I'm a I feminist, know. but genuinely, how do you get to jail? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> how do you get Can to Can you JFK? please pick me up? I can't figure it out for to save my life. It does not make sense at all. I mean, just, just like it's you so went to, hard. You went to Newark, didn't you, for yeah. this one? That's crazy. Well, I stayed at his house because he lives on the west side so that I could take an Uber to Newark. Because yeah. it's just like there's no way at 3 a.m. I'm getting on any sort of public transit sh- to yeah. Newark. No, dude, not, yeah. not it's just not happening. It's not in sure. the cards. I, I don't think I've, I think I've taken one public transit. I've taken. I've gone to Newark one time public transit. It's like an, it's oh, I've done an hour and a half and I saved, I don't know, 50 bucks, but I was like, yeah. not worth it at all. I've done it so <laughs> much. Yeah. I, but I mean, I was raised by like a frugal, a frugal man. So it's just in the back of my head being like $75. No, totally. Me. But I do think, so one of the things is these bitches act stupid to get men. But what pisses me off even more, I guess, is, I don't know, it's, about, it's a different thing. Sometimes I had female friends who act stupid at me to get me to do stuff because yeah, they I'm act very incompetent. Yes. Cause I'm a type a person who just like get shit done and I'm like very lucky for that skill set. But the like futzing around with something to be like, I need and I, I'll be like, you know, I don't want to fuck you, right? I like, I don't find this cute. Today. Because I know you do this to me sometimes. No, but, very, but in a small way. Yes. I just was trying really hard to open a thing. What was that? Yeah. I, just, I just tried twice and then looked at Andrew and I'm like, can you open this? Yes. <laughs> I am the man of a lot of my I mean, that's female. Like a we take turns. Yeah. We take turns. That's yeah. really like the pickle jar is like too too tight. <laughs> Can yeah. you open this? Please. But Can if, you put my <laughs> luggage up there? <laughs> but if you're not returning it, like we baby yeah. take turns babying each other. I've had friends where like they're hot and annoying. And so, so they, they think they, I'm going to be like the way men are to them. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not trying to see your tits. Dude. Yeah. I, I I'm not trying to fuck you. This oh, is nothing. Yeah. I'm not going to help you so with my taxes. Yeah. A hot girl friend that does have men just like falling at her feet all the time. Because yeah. then she probably does expect like doors to just open for her. Yes, Absolutely. That sucks. And like opportunities to just land in her lap. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Greg Giraldo had a great bit about this where there was like a hot girl talking about going to Italy. And she was like, uh, you just like get on a Vespa and like a guy just like takes <laughs> you around Italy. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, dog. This is literally me being like, how do you get to the airport? <laughs> Dude, hot yeah. women are kind of just like the tap to pay phones. Like they just yeah. Kind of are yeah. just, you know, like to get in the subway, you just kind of are walking through doors con- and green <laughs> yeah. lights are popping. Yes. Yeah. Specifically hot white women are yes. living a type of life that one, they're like celebrities. Yeah. They're, 
the closest that we have to friends who are celebrities where yeah. it just doors open. They're just constantly. doing whatever they want all of the yeah, time. And, it's, and God bless. But I also but think, don't make me do it for you. If they've been yeah, hot. At least make a man do it. Yeah, right. Exactly. You know, we're, we're, we'll, happy, we'll happily do it. Yeah. Because yeah. we'll be like, oh, sick. I, <laughs> yeah. I love you. Are you going to, wait, I've loved you forever. I'll picture my whole life with some girl that I opened the door for once. Yeah. Yeah. But I won't say a word to her. I'll just like walk away and I'll be like, dude, that was something. <laughs> dude, that was so <laughs> that was cool. Something. I that bet was, she's thinking that too. That was actually huge. <laughs> On the way here, there was a girl, I, I walked by this girl and I was like, oh my God, she's beautiful. And then I was like, I should just go like say like hi to her and then I was like no not a chance but then I just kept going and I was like nice even just the thought yeah <laughs> that's all I needed it was nice yeah yeah, yeah. I mean I you go up to her and you go do you want to get a hot dog <laughs> hey what's your name hey, do you have a boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> do you want to get hot dogs with me hi do you have a boyfriend uh, I, lo- I love you I mean I had a little I love you I had a little glow up in my early 20s and the two worlds that I got to witness yeah. was absolutely crazy yeah. how much nicer people were to me it was insane Yeah the hottest I ever was when I was ni- was when I was 19 yeah, I was and I was there. like stacked yeah. and then I became an open mic comedian which is just like the ugliest world of people it and really it was is. like doors like <laughs> I would walk in and like the temperature of a room would change yeah. <laughs> to like make me comfortable yeah. Yeah, you know? and then like you know, it all fell to shit because I became an alcoholic. <laughs> but for a few months, it was really Dude. wonderful. You were living big. It was great. Yeah, it is. It is. Do hot boys have this experience? I would call you a hot boy as a friend. I would. Wow. I would yeah. say that Thanks, you're definitely a hot boy. Like, yeah, I would say you guys are hot girls. Thanks, Thanks buddy. Hot boys, hot girls. Table. Yeah. <laughs> do you, have you noticed like? Were you like a dork in high school? What was your trajectory? Yeah. yeah. So I was very, I didn't like know what haircut to have till like, yeah. like, I don't even know, five years ago. And it wasn't Harry Boy Summer yet. It wasn't Harry Boy Summer yet. Yeah. A lot of phases, a lot of crazy phases. And so d- I didn't really feel like I could like approach sure. women until like, I don't know, maybe like po- around college, maybe post college. Okay. Yeah. And then did you feel a difference where you're like, whoa, these women are like into it. This is crazy. Honestly, I think that now I feel a difference for the first time. Because yeah. I was always like, in relationships relationship too. Guy, I was yeah. a big relationship guy. And then yeah. now I'm like, I'm just going to not be for a while and wait till like something that feels really right yeah, happens. Yeah. But till the... Yeah, yeah, exactly that sound. <laughs> That's ex- I'm excited. And now a mustache for you. too, dude. The mustache. The is, mustache is yeah. huge. The mustache is huge for yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. I saw your hint. You showed me your field profile, and I was just like, God, Emil is gonna fucking clean, clean up. up, girls. You're too sweet. I love you both, buddy. Yeah. I'm happy for you. Thanks, guys. You're doing great. I'm very excited for you. You're slaying. And there's something about being like just a little older too, where you just have like less like nervous energy <laughs> I don't know what it is but yeah, like I think yeah. like when I was like younger I was like on oh, apps and I was laid. like nah. yeah there's some yeah you also have like something else to live for yeah you just like feel more like an adult you're like a comedian so you have something to live for other than getting laid yeah. so it's not as high stakes yeah when you're like a teenager or you're in college and all you have to live for is does this person like me back yes. yeah. it's the scariest thing in the world but now if you have like a full life and good friends it's easy to be like okay dude nothing is more to attractive diner. to women and I'm finding than just being busy and being like yeah, you know. yeah absolutely. I think people in general yeah at least like the kind of men that I would be attracted to like not these like trad dudes they love men love when you're busy because they don't want you around all the time yeah <laughs> it's not untrue so I had to like live with my boyfriend for a month because I didn't have a bed and he's so sweet he would never like say anything about it but I could feel him being like so you're still how's the so, you're, yeah, so you are for sure still here, <laughs> and, like, getting here. and like he's great yeah. like whatever but I was like there would be nights where I would go out to like hang out with like you, like one of you two or something yeah. just to be like he needs to play video games alone. Yeah. yeah. We do love that. You yeah. know what I mean? 100%. Like, in order for our relationship to last, he must play video games and beat off. <laughs> yes. Dude, totally. Yeah, absolutely. He must be asleep when I get home. My boyfriend gets up at like 7 a.m. to go for walks, and he's just silent playing Pokemon Go in Prospect Park <laughs> till like 11 a.m. when I wake up. People are still doing that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pokemon Go in the park is actually kind of a hilarious thing. He's too. hilarious. He's awesome. like, like, under rocks. And shit. <laughs> yeah. My forty-six-year-old adult boyfriend who has a child plays Pokemon Go for like eight hours a day. Yeah, and I love it for but him. But men just need to be alone. They do. Yeah, men, do in a way that and women are like women need to be around. 
community. Yes. Women are like building community so that we're never alone. Yeah. Get Pearl and, on yeah. the pod. <laughs> Pearl. You guys all have your periods and knit things in circles. That yeah. well, Pearl is, but Pearl is the opposite. Pearl doesn't want community with women. But oh, she right. wants to be around a man all day. But Pearl could be healed. No, we can't fix her. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to fix we Pearl. But you can kind Pearl. of see where she veered. Do you know what I mean? Yes. You can see where she got like radicalized. <laughs> Pearl was not accept. Pearl was like not accepted in the conventionally attractive world. Yeah. And so Pearl was like, I have to find a way for men to like me. The only way for me to do it is to call other women stupid bitches yeah. who don't deserve rights. Yeah. Someone's per- got to sit Pearl down and be like, Honey, we agree that men and women are different sometimes. Let's start there. Let's start there. <laughs> we agree with you there. there. That doesn't mean these, these tangents. Are- though. Oh. These are eyelash extensions. Yes. That's going to be huge for you. Sometimes we do cry a lot. Yes, Let's put that we out do there. cry. Sometimes it we is hard cry. to get to the airport. Yes. I, don't, I don't know how. <laughs> Can you imagine how much hotter Pearl would be if she had her girls? I know. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Girls need girls. Yes. If she became like a like, we're sometimes dumb bitches, but I love them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Pearl, we would be like Pearl. Or whatever. Respectfully. Or whatever. Yeah, respectfully. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you do are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> whatever you guys, however you guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's beat that out. Um, yeah. <laughs> if Pearl had like hot Brooklyn girls helping her out, yeah, per- those long weird shirts she's wearing, the like shitty limp she haircut, had some armpit hair, dude, dude. She'd be doing great. Being friends with women makes everyone more attractive. Yes, there's even the like uh, having a black wife of, or black wife. Oh, effect. Have, have you seen, seen this? this? All those videos are awesome. They're oh. so cool. Yeah, dude, yeah. all the comments are awesome too. And the guys are like so much hotter. Yeah. They, they all glow up. It's yeah. crazy. So for, I've, every man I've dated has glown up since we started dating. Oh yeah. So for the listening audience, Except for that there's one, these. That <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> but that was after jail. we broke up. Yeah, his alcoholism really he slid downhill in a pretty big way, but. The, just for the listening audience, the, these videos are like men who ha- they put videos of themselves before they had a black girlfriend, and they're truly like wire rim glasses, ill fitting band, regular degular, nothing looking dudes. Yeah, bad haircuts. Yes, they get a black girlfriend afterwards. They are like jacked. All of a sudden, they have a full beard somehow. Yeah. Oh my god! She it's like, like she pepper. like teaches them how to how to grow a <laughs> yeah. full beard. Yes, the love of a black woman She's, can help can help can fill help in your patchy yeah. beard. Yes. Dude, honestly, that's a great slogan. And like, he has like a full beard. He's dressed well. He's like oh, dripped out. He yeah. has like a tasteful chain and a man a bun. A tailored suit. Oh my. And he looks amazing. He looks amazing. Yeah. There's also the reverse of it where they women. just flip them. Like like sell them and then just like, all right, go be free <laughs> yeah. and just take a new one in. Yeah. yeah. There should be a black like a woman who program. just adopt sad white incels and, and turn them, them into fuckable. normal men. Sorry, black women to make you do more yeah, of the work. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't ask but, you to do yeah. more of the work. <laughs> but kind of the reverse of like a white family adopting a black kid. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Black it families adopting reversed. adult white children, <laughs> adult white men. <laughs> And for just, just like, like giving a year. him beard oil. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is called lotion. You yeah. don't want to use yeah. this. Yeah. It is mostly lotion. Yeah, a lot of it is it's lotion. It's a lot of moist. Yeah, you'd yeah. be surprised how. Honestly, like I feel like as a guy, it's kind of easy just to do a couple things to make a difference. It's literally like four things. It's yes. literally like a. It's like, I, I'll yeah. tell you what, I do it way too early in a relationship. Are you trying to fix? <laughs> I just show up and I'm like, I got you this. And it's like skin cream. Yes. Because you're already ready. You're like, I know what I'm going to do. I mean, I know I need to put my hands on this eventually yeah. and fix this. So yeah. let me just get right to it. Yeah. And you're good at it because I feel like I would be, I'm always nervous to be like, to point out the thing that doesn't look good because I don't want to hurt their feelings. And I admire yeah. the assertiveness that you have because a lot of the times they're like, oh, great. Yeah. I, well, I'm also like, I don't think I love you. Sure. I don't care that this thing looks like this, but I know that you're insecure about it. Yeah. And you don't have to be. Yeah. Like instead of you doing the like emotional labor of getting over this insecurity, you could just put this on. Yeah. Put on this. And, and wouldn't butter. that be nice? You'll just yeah. be like, you dress bad. Here's a shirt that yeah. I got you. Literally when Lizzie. My like fourth date with my boyfriend, I, Andrew and I went out and bought him a shirt. Whoa. Yeah. And he accepted it. And yeah. He wears yeah. it all the time. Implemented. Wow. Women in your great. life, baby. Yeah. There's also the opposite. See, I fr- oh, also, I don't want to date a guy who's going to freak out about me. But like, yeah, I don't want to date a guy yeah, who's going to yeah, be yeah. like, oh, what? You think I don't dress well? Right. Right. I know. I'm dating you. I think you dress well i, I also who, think that this would look good on you i have a friend who doesn't like the way that their boyfriend dresses and, and, and she was like yeah she was like i can't bring it up because he'll get like defensive then you and shouldn't I'm be like, together yeah it's a red flag it's a big red flag i think i would i don't know yeah if i was dating someone and they were like put here wear something more like this i'd be like nice also the trick yeah. is cool. i don't say i like the person i dated before my current boyfriend i like the way my current boyfriend dresses but the person I dated before I hated the way he dressed so I just bought him clothes 
I didn't say I don't like this. Yeah. I just said like this would look good on you. Yeah. Yeah. And I wish I could get those clothes back. I know. There was a great graphic tee. And the cardigan. That was wasted. Ooh. The cardigan. Uh, there is also uh. the reverse of this on TikTok. There is uh, women after their divorce, before and after their divorce. Yeah. Wow. Do they glow up? They're slaying. Huge yeah. glow up. Yeah. There's this one bitch who like has a cool short hair cut now. Yeah. And just like is going on trips with herself. It's like she she was freed. Yes, like she is free. Pearl could be free. We could free Pearl. We could free Pearl. But I don't want to because I hate her. I know. I know. <laughs> you I know. Stay in it. Yeah, yeah. we do because you're setting up this little dog. Pearl shit world. is in a prison of her own yeah. design. Yeah, rotten there. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Ugly bitch, Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? How much time are we at right now? Uh, you're at an hour. All right. Whoa, Slay. Should we, should we wrap her up? Do we mean Yeah, I mean, I feel like thoughts? we should say something funny, but I don't really know where to go from. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do 15 minutes of a meal teaching me how to get to the airport? Yeah, let's do it. We'll do it. Let's, we'll, we'll get into one more bit somehow. <laughs> I, Wait, I have a question. This right. was earlier that I, I thought this, but then we went yeah. on a different tangent. If there, what is a way to, for a guy, because I've talked to many guy friends about this. If you're, if you're a gal out there uh -huh. and a guy comes up to you at like a bar or whatever. Yeah, sure. Say that today there's a hot girl I see walking by at the yeah. park. Yeah. What's the, what's the respectful way to approach hmm. a woman in public in 2024? I'm trying to think of a specific line. <sighs> the, like what you could say. I, well, I think. You go with, like, you introduce yourself first, right? Yeah. I think the first step is to s clock whether or not she's doing eye contact stuff. Yeah, Absolutely. you must do There's eye contact stuff. There's got to be eye flirting stuff. for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yes. So once that's established. Do um, I shake her boyfriend's hand next to her? <laughs> <laughs> and you whisper into his ear. Now her husband and that. kid, what do I do with them? <laughs> do I ignore them? Yeah. Uh, I, I like a joke. Yeah. I like a joke that acknowledges that you are like that publicly approaching someone. Yeah. Right. I like a little disarming joke because if it's like earnest, like even if you it's just like, what are we gonna just look at each other all night? Yeah, yeah. something like that. That's my move. When I was single, if I was <laughs> hey, like what the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> do you wanna know what I would Why do? Why are real? you looking yeah. at me? Yeah, you have a fucking problem or yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> my move for real when I was still like drinking and like hot was like if I was like making eye contact with a dude at a bar all night every time I looked over he was looking at me we're like looking at each other all night I would go up and order a drink next to him and then I would look at him and he would look at me and if he didn't say anything I would go shut up and then I would walk away that's great and then that's the next great. time I walked by him he would talk to me yeah that's also so generous that's giving us way more like green light go ahead yeah like just fucking yeah. say something to yeah me. Wow, that's awesome. You need eye contact minimum as a as an entry point. Yes. And then I think a funny, a joke that is like, look at us yeah. wanting to and then fuck what's each the other. End goal? Yeah. What do you like? If you're like, you try to get their number? Instagram. 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 Don't ask for the number. The number is way too because a weird weirdos ask for numbers a lot. Instagram yeah. gives the I have the ability to block you or yeah. like yeah. not friend you back. It's the most like Instagram opens the door because they might slide into your DMs if it's Instagram. Yeah. I, if someone asks for my Instagram and I'm interested, I'm always the one going and liking the photos, sending a fun thing. Right. They'll, yeah. You'll know. Yeah, one yeah, time yeah. a guy came up to me at a bar and was like, hey, my friends are boring. Can I flirt with you? And I was like, yeah. It can be that bold. Wow. Yeah, truly. Yeah. I just liked the like, we're not pretending that we're that you like care. Like, you're not pretending to be like, so do you come here often? Right. Like, yeah. He yeah, just yeah. literally was like, my friends are boring. Can I flirt with you? And I was like, yes. See, that's kind of perfect because he said it good. It's like, then it came out good. It wasn't like choppy. And, and we like, had yeah. been looking at each other. It's got to be, it's got to be really that's, direct. That's what I would always yeah. worry about is like, I'm like, am I going to, what is, what am I going to say? And am I going to stumble over a word or two where it's yeah. like, oh, you're oh, dead in the no, water. You're dead in the water. It's like yeah. stand up. Yeah. You have to be like that. You have to have reps. You have to yeah. be that guy. Oh, yeah. You have to like know what you're doing kind of. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I also, I don't know if this works for women, but I used to do this with men. If I was looking all night and there was a thing, I used to drop the, the number on a piece of paper and then I would leave the venue. That's Whoa. the thing I did all the time because it was like, uh, if I wanted to not flirt or I wanted to spend the night hanging out with my friends, but we were looking at each other, the number drop is so powerful because it's like, Everyone knew what the fuck was happening here. And you can text me if you want to. But like, I don't know. There's something yeah. so like big, 
dicked about it, but also what it might. A, what if a random guy picked it up? Like, what if some other guy at the bar <laughs> texted you? <laughs> now you, and you think and you're going on a date, and now you're yeah. just like the worst him. man, dude. Yeah, <laughs> and legally you have to fuck yeah. him. Yeah, legally, I, if you give me the <laughs> yeah. I take my face off. I'm Pearl. <laughs> Have you been Pearl this whole I've been time? I've Pearl the whole time. <laughs> Holy shit. Take me to the airport. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know if that translates for men. If you got a number from a man, would you feel weird about it? Um, I mean, it's just like if he was hot, I would text him. Right, exactly. It's just case by case. It yeah. just is what it is. It yeah. is what it is, folks. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's chest hair summer and you're a hot guy. So start just giving out the digits. Don't I think ha- using the word flirt is huge. Yeah, yeah. Like calling out what it is. What are we flirting and right should now? Should we flirt yeah. right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Hi, can we uh, flirt? <laughs> are we flirting yet? <laughs> May I flirt you? I would like to flirt. Um, but it also like set up this thing where he I, he wasn't like, he d- it didn't seem like he had an expectation of me to go home with him. Yeah, you're just like, yo, what's up? You're cute. That's what we're doing. What we're doing yeah. right now is flirting. Maybe yeah. something will happen, but I w- my goal is to flirt with you. Yeah. Start with that. Yeah. I think it's a good start. And then right into weather talk. Yeah. And then right yeah. into weather yeah. talk. Right yeah. Into quick this week. And then <laughs> really. The smoothest <laughs> opening line. Yeah. Fuck, the G train is so <laughs> bad. <huh? laughs> and then just start going like this in the fingers thing. <laughs> just whip, bomb whip, it Whip out a guitar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't you think they should bomb half marathons? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's crazy. If you think about it, women are dumb, anyways. <laughs> no, no, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, for uh, it. yeah I'll take it. There. Go on. I got a massage earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like me? Do you like me yet? Yeah. Uh, yeah, something like, like that. Something, yeah. Just around that, yeah. Quick Just around time. that area. You'll figure it out. Um, well, Mill, thank you for being of the best returning guest yeah. of all thank time. Thank you for being our first returning guest. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for having me. You're the best. What? Uh, please, Plug where things. Can, where can people see you? Mostly just on Instagram, I guess, is where I'm most, that's where I update stuff. Yes. And you know. Watch Your Meals Don't Tell comedy set. Yeah. It's great. It's so fantastic. There, Thanks, you, you wedged in a 9-11 joke like a goddamn hero. Thanks, and I was buddy. so, it, it opened in a way that it, you never expected. Yeah. And I was like, what a fucking genius. Um, Meals so funny. God, wait, does this come guys. out after next week? Yeah. Oh, also, hey, big announcement! Wait, big wait, announcement! Wait, 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 wait. There's a drum. Fuck! There's a drum. I can't see with the glasses. No, <laughs> Lizzie, <laughs> Lizzie bombed her don't tell. That was. Oh, there. I also have a don't tell comedy set that came out this week or last week or something like that. You can watch it on YouTube or it's probably linked to my Instagram or yeah. something. Find it. Watch it. I worked hard on it. <laughs> Woo! I mean, I can't wait to see it. Yeah. I'm so excited. I saw it tape live. It was fantastic. Thanks, buddy. And, uh, you know, if you're a TikTok girly friend of ours who are our but yeah. diehard supporters, if you hate Pearl and love Lizzie, get in those comments of Please. the clips. Go watch the YouTube, yeah. right? Like I fucking love Lizzie or Nicole over here. Yeah. Do a little reference to the pod. Let us know you're there. It'll really boost the algo because you know Lizzie's stand up is fantastic, and uh, you know we want her to strive and thanks, and, bestie, and grow. Um, follow me at Andrea yeah. Comedy sixty nine on Instagram and on TikTok, and as always, subscribe to the YouTube channel, respectfully podcast. See you next week. Bye. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, you thought it was a rabbit. Oh my god, it's so much brighter.